Okay, so we've got our loom finished with both sides looking nice and even. So what comes next? So the first thing you're going to want to do is come across the room to get some yarn. So our yarn station is right here. You're going to want to pull finger to finger all the way across your body. So I'm just going to make a big, long one here. All right. And then when I cut it, I want to leave about a hand's length of string behind. So I'm going to cut, if you can see, down there. Okay. Let me take this back to my spot. All right, so now we're ready to roll. So I've got my loom like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an over under pattern. So I'm gonna start by going over or under, over, doesn't matter which way you start. Under, over, under, over, under, over, under. I'm going to pull that string so that there's just a little tip hanging out the end. And I'm going to push it all the way down to the bottom. Now the bottom is the side that doesn't have the teeth. So this is the bottom down here. I'm going to push that all the way down. So I started or I finished by going under right there. So now I'm going to loop it around to this side. And just for the sake of consistency, I'm going to start by going over and then under and over, under, over, under, over, under, over. All right, I'm going to push it all the way down because I don't want extra stuff hanging out. Push it down. Okay, so you can see that pattern that I've got going there. And I've got that pattern over there too. So here's the thing, I started by going under this yarn right here. You guys see that? Because the pink is on top. So now this time I need to do the opposite. And every time you do this, you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna make sure you're doing a checkerboard, the opposite. So I'm gonna go over, under, over, under. If I wanna double check to make sure I'm doing it right, I can look on any string and I went over there, under there. So over, under, over, under, over. Pull it all the way through. Oops, I need that to stay around the edge there. Push that down and then I'm gonna flip it around, okay? And this one here, how did I start? Over or under on that thread there? Right, over. So that means that I'm gonna start by going underneath this thread, okay? And I'm gonna go grab, real quick, I'm gonna leave you hanging for a second here, go grab two examples so you can see the difference. So I know that these two have different colors, obviously. Um, but is there anything else that you notice that's different about these two? Take a look at this one. Now take a look at this one. Do you guys see this string right here? Um, well, that's there because when the kid was doing that weaving, they went under that thread several times. And if you look at this one, you can't really see those strings because it's got that basket weave pattern, okay? So as you're putting in a new string, all you need to do is just kind of take your string Remember, every time we um, are pulling it through, we're going to pull it all the way through. Because you wouldn't want to have a sweater or something with something like this hanging off of it. So we're going to pull it all the way through. When you get to the end of the row, if you're close, you can go get arm to arm worth of thread. Come back and just you'll just kind of start where the next one would have left off and just keep on going from there. All right, well, good luck. I hope you have a good day, and I can't wait to see your special pockets.